Hello, lovely people. I just came uh, into work and I want to share something like a discovery that just clicked in my head before it went away because I know it might it might went away. Um, yesterday, I took out the speakers from the kicks that I have and I was driving without them. So basically with open holes in my car. And when I noticed that um, obviously there's much more noise that's coming from the road and mainly from the rain because it was raining today all day and the road is wet. And I noticed the frequency range that comes through the hole is, I want to say, like, upper mid-range to lower treble. So, like, if I would guess something like 400 hertz up to 5K or something like that. So, it's more like higher uh, frequency content. And so, the discovery is, I was thinking about, I always think about, like, did it in my car, putting, like, MLV on the floor and everything. So, if, for those who don't know, MLV is uh, mass-loaded vinyl. And basically, what it does, it's like a barrier that you put uh, in between a panel uh, or carpet or whatever, and you have, like, a uh, decoupling layer in between. So, ideally, you want, like, foam, uh, MLV, and foam. And what MLV does, it's it's absorbing the sound waves and converting it into heat. In theory, you're not going to measure it, but that's that's the theory how it works. So basically, the MLV layer vibrates, absorbing the sound waves and dissipates it as heat. And that's why uh, cars or anything like walls deaden with MLV, um, are, they're much quieter. Yeah. And then I was thinking, <clears throat> when I had the speakers in Kicks IB, there was literally absolutely no noise. And you th if you think about a speaker, yeah, it's literally just a cone of uh, how how thick is a cone? Two, three mil? It's it's very very thin, and the material itself, like if it's a paper cone, it's not gonna absorb all the sound waves however it's much much quieter so another thing if you think about a construction of a speaker how it's constructed if you feed a signal to a speaker it produces sound however a uh, speaker and microphone in theory is the same thing that just works in reverse so if you shout into a speaker you can actually measure the signal on the speaker terminals because when you move a speaker and the coil moves, it gives like back EMF and you can actually measure that. And the thing is, when you put a speaker in the kicks, yeah, and especially IB kicks, what's happening is in the with the road noise the speaker acts as a microphone it picks up all the road noise and it acts as an mlv so the speaker itself absorbs all the sound waves and the suspension because it can move freely the suspension dissipates that energy the acoustical energy uh into back emf and basically what you're getting is, in theory, I think it should be a speaker in Kicks IB should absorb sound much better than MLV or than if it's going to be sealed like with metal like it originally is. Because like rain and sound, if you bang it on a hard surface like sheet metal in the kicks is gonna kind of ring and it's gonna like dissipate it, it dissipates the sound by transfers it more <clears throat> however a speaker in ib absorbs all the sound and dissipates it so it's much quieter and when you think about it where does that energy go so if you have a speaker not connecting to anything that energy just, it's like, it's mechanical energy. So the sound becomes speaker movement and it just dissipates that energy. But if you connect the speaker to the amplifier, if you have it connected like for playing music or whatever, that energy goes back into the amplifier as back EMF. And 
Amplifiers, if you know, especially like modern amplifiers, have a very high damping factor. So they damp that EMF very, very hard. And in theory, now I'm thinking the thing, uh, if you're playing music while you're driving, does the noise from outside interfere with the sound quality and with the reproduction of the actual speaker? And I think in theory it shouldn't because all that back EMF that you have from the road noise, it should be dampened by the suspension and by the amplifier. So it shouldn't affect anything. So, yeah. so basically this is my just thoughts for this morning that a speaker in kick IB is going to absorb a sound much better than if there will be no speaker. Like, I mean, not a hole, but like if it would be like uh, sheet metal. And that's why if you put a speaker in IB, it's not going to be, the road noise is not going to be louder. It's going to be less road noise, actually, in theory. That That is my theory. I, I want to hear your thoughts as well about this especially if you have like experience about this because yeah now i have everything out and now i'm gonna go to work so thank you very much for watching guys i will see you in the next one